Hi guys, my name is Joe Guy of Mint Andrea. Welcome to our new video. I'd like to show you today three very similar but still different black paint like M2 cameras or a little different in its finish, in the brassing, in, in the lenses they carry and I usually don't have three cameras uh, at the same time on my table so I thought this would be a, a worth a new video I would say and uh, let's see what's what's on my table here first of all there is uh, a black paint like uh, m2 made in uh, 1961 which has a matching uh, 50 millimeter rigid uh, sumicron f2 in black paint finish as well the camera especially this camera has had a modification from lights in london in the past as it has chrome strap plugs now which were black paint on on the original camera but this camera especially has got a provenance from british car magazine photographer which has extensively used this camera and it seems that he had the camera on the strap rather than in a case so these have worn out uh, quite thin which we see quite often on heavy used cameras so to make sure maybe that the camera would not drop uh, lights replaced them but at the time they maybe had no more original spare parts of uh, the black paint strap lugs so they used the chrome ones uh, here on that camera the lens as i said is the rigid sumicron 50 mm f2 uh, also matching the year 1961 still with a red feed scale here filled with red paint the lens head which can be screwed off and the depth of field scale in black paint finish as well as the infinity lock release knob in black paint and the focusing scale ring in a black anodized finish the next camera here is also like M2, surprise, surprise, in a much better finish, a bit more glossy than the finish here on this uh, heavier used camera. This one's equipped uh, with a 35mm f2 Sumicron in full black anodized finish, but the UV filter and the lens cap here in black paint. The lens dates around I think 1963 while the camera dates to 1965. The lens cap also shows some very nice bubbles which comes from sweat uh, and touching uh, the lens cap with, with the bare fingers and which causes those bubbles in the paint. So the condition here is a lot better than the other one. Also on the lens is the black paint infinity lock release which has suffered from use and is now almost full brass here. And the last camera on the table is uh, very nice in, in the case that it's one of the last 50 cameras produced already in 1966 all black paint uh, or original here and what's very nice especially for me on this model is that the lens is also from 1966 comes with a yellow feed scale already also the here the black paint is on the depth of field scale and the focusing ring while the rest of the lens is in black anodized finish here. The lens is quite a very rare version I would say because it has the old front uh, with the old aperture setting ring with the fine knurling here and but it's already with the yellow feed scale so we don't see that very often. I think I've 
I've seen it a few times only until now, so that's that's quite rare, quite rare lens, uh, and much rarer I would say than than the camera itself. Although it's from the last series of, of 50 pieces, but overall of Black Paint M2, the lens is uh, much more rare in this combination and in detail. So that's it's really nice to have, and it's the matching matching production year which makes it a, a beautiful set here and very nice to have all three cameras in one place all in superb condition i would say it's just one of them would be great to have in in any collection to have three on the table at the same time i cannot mention it enough um, is is a pleasure and showing you as well hopefully i can show you stuff like that more often um, although i would not guarantee that um, <laughs> right now i hope you like seeing stuff like that i obviously enjoy love and appreciate seeing stuff like that having stuff like that on on the table showing it to you uh, to my customers and friends and uh, collectors um, yeah hope Hope to see you soon again. Hope to see you again in, in our next video. Please, as always, like, share, subscribe to our channel if you're no subscriber right now. And see our blog, uh, check our Instagram. We constantly have new things pop up, which uh, we don't have time putting it in videos, unfortunately, but uh, have short new arrivals and stuff like that. So always exciting new stuff. Check out the website. If you have any questions, let us know, write in the comments, leave a thumbs up. Um, and hope to see you soon. Stay healthy. Thanks for watching.